Albert, how are you? Good morning. So I've been taking a look at your golf swings and uh, obviously it's one of those that if you see in normal speed, it looks it looks pretty good. It looks good. Uh, it's kind of what you told me. But uh, when I go through it on slow motion stuff, I can I can see the flaws. There's a lot of good things, but, but I, I, I believe that most of our work is going to be... Uh, around the way you pivot, the, the way your pelvis and torso moves throughout the golf swing, uh, especially in the downswing, but there's a few things that we need to adjust uh, in the backswing and, and how that is gonna affect your hand path, right? Allowing us to, to control that low point. I think that's gonna be key, I believe. I don't have numbers, but I truly believe that your face gets, you know, open uh, to the target, to the intended target due to a low point that is too far back, and that's what creates inconsistency with strikes and, and flight. So if you look at this golf swing um, from down the line, um, I like pretty much everything you do throughout the first part of the back swing. Uh, how your body moves, uh, I'd like to see a little bit more about your left hand grip. I think it's pretty neutral, maybe a fraction strong, but uh, but no, I mean, only mainly good things in the backswing. If you look at it from face on, there's something about <clears throat> your spine, keeping your spine too much, uh, and, and it's, I can see it even more with your um, with your face on driver where you keep your spine for too long and flex uh, and then obviously from there in transition when the shaft gets a little steep the first part of the back you know you see here the hands are moving too much on a straight line the first part of the downswing mainly because your lead side right pelvis and the torso start moving up sorry they start moving up on the first part, you can see how the pelvis starts to extend, and all that is going to get your hands moving down, and feeling like you're stuck. That club face is going to be way behind your hands. Your torso is going to be closed by six. P6 is a position; is when you are parallel to the ground, and from there, obviously, the body has to stall out, and you're going to throw the arms at it, and compromising what I told you early uh, strike, and. Capability of controlling uh, a flight, right? So, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I would like to see and mainly what I will focus. Obviously, this is just a brief explanation, and then we're gonna get on the phone. But you have to understand that the golf swing is uh, produced on an inclined plane, so everything you know throughout, once the club starts moving, we have to understand the 3D behind it. And when I mean the 3D, I don't try to be too complicated, but you gotta understand that when, when, the, when the club has starts moving, your body starts turning, uh, flexing, extending, uh, tilting, okay? So there, there's a lot of things that happen at the same time. It's not like you're turning and turning. Uh, there's a lot of things. And the tilts, right? The inclinations, I will, you know, I will say to me is one of the most important part of the swing, okay? Because how, how well you incline that torso and pelvis uh, is going to allow you to generate rotation, especially throughout the downswing and create a better transition. So when you see, when you compare with this player, you're going to see some similarities in the backswing, right? There's a good face control, good relationship between the hands and the sweet spot. I've had the, the shoulders and torso. You could say that they uh, have a proper inclination. Uh, length of the action looks very similar. Maybe this one a little shorter, which I would like to increase to be the length of the swing. But that's something that's not right now. Okay. And from here on, you can see how her lead side, I mean, how to see from this side, uh, the, the way the lead side moves. 
a scene down and around is going to allow her hands to get out that way. In your case, because of the way, you know, your 12 shoulder and 12 side of the toe is moving, you know, kind of sliding and, and uh, turning, you know, going back, you know, get, like I showed you down on face on where your lead uh, shoulder gets high, that makes your hands move more in a straight line, right? So when that happens, your body stays close, right? and it can turn. All right, so by this time, both players are on the same um, time and space, okay? This is, P let's call it P6, position six, when the club is parallel to gun. So take a look at how, you know, I can barely see her chest. Like she has a lot of flexion on the torso and the, and, the, and the pelvis. I can see most of her, both of her cheeks, cheeks your body's totally close. I mean, from there, the ball's gonna go either toward the trees, or if you wanted to go to your intended target part, you have to slow down and throw the arms to square that face, right? Because that's the, the geom geometry aspect behind it. So from here, she can keep turning and turning, and getting the hands to move around her beautifully. In your case, you know, you're just gonna throw at it. And it becomes so much time in or you know, so much time in oriented that uh, it, you know, it makes it very difficult to to feel the same or be able to control a shot on a day-to-day -day basis. And you can see there, you know, how, how high your exit of the club is compared to this one, right? Uh, so that's mainly what I want you, want you to see. That's where I would like for us to start. Uh, you know, there's a lot of work, like I said, we have to do mainly on, on pivoting. I, I truly believe you have a very good understanding or control of your, the club face alignments, you know, the relationship between your grip and the wrist angles, the way your your arms, uh, the, you know, your arm structure, you know, throughout the backswing. So uh, you get a lot of good things, which is, you know, I think there's the work has to be done mainly uh, focus on, on pivoting, how the, the, the pelvis and torso should move throughout the backswing and the swing. Thanks, Albert, and talk to you soon.